Hello, I'm Jumpsplat120, and you all saw the title, you know what the video is about. I'm transgender. I could talk about all the boring shit that the other girls talk about, like how they knew, or how, life, how hard life was beforehand, or my crushing existential depression, but I think I'd rather just have the first video be me clearing up stupid fucking things I hear from people. Don't fall. <laughs> Let's just consider it a... Q&A, except none of you get to give me any questions, but, you know, maybe we'll do that later at some point. First, general questions slash comments that I hear all the time. Oh, transgender, what does that mean? It means I'm a girl. Why'd you decide to be a girl? Same reason you decided to be whatever gender you are. Oh, oh wait, you didn't choose. Oh wow, look how that fucking works. But trans people choose to be trans. This, this has got to be the biggest current misconception. It's not a lifestyle, like, like being vegan. It's not a thing that you just choose to do. I get that we're kind of early in our civilization to be figuring this shit out, but do you all remember back when people thought that you could choose to be gay? Actually, who am I kidding? People still think that. But to be serious, I really wouldn't choose to be trans if I had a choice. I would also wouldn't choose to be pansexual. I would choose to be white, straight, preferably rich, just dumb enough to ignore all the shitty things that go on in the world, but smart enough to not lose all of my inherited wealth. But you don't get to choose shit like that. You just, you doubt your cards and you play with the hand that you've got. You're pansexual, what does that mean? It means I like everything. Oh, so you're bi. If it's easier to wrap your head around, yeah, sure, okay. But by people like guys and girls, period. I don't give a flying fuck what you identify as. If I like you, I like you. That's the difference. But there's only two genders. Okay, whatever makes you sleep better at night. Honestly, there's it's a spectrum. There's male on one side, there's female on the other, there's shit in the middle. Shit kind of mostly on one side, but not all the way, and there's shit kind of mostly on the other side, but not quite. There's some people who just don't really fall on the spectrum at all. The whole 7,000 genders things comes when you try to put a label on every single tiny little incremental change between one person and the other. Okay, so back to the girl thing. Does that mean you're going to dress like a girl? I mean, I mostly make gaming videos, so it's not like you would know. Like, fuck, I might not be wearing pants right now. How would you be able to tell? But... Yeah, to answer the question, eventually. Why not right now? Because it gives me dysphoria. What is that, some kind of made-up Tumblr term? No, it's just the opposite of euphoria. If I wear a dress or something too feminine, I can give myself dysphoria. Because if I look at a mirror, what I see is a dude wearing a dress, not a girl wearing a dress, which is what my brain is expecting to see. But while we are on the topic of Tumblr terms, let me just go over a few. Sis. It means not trans. And if you say that you already have a term for not trans and follow that up with the word straight, I might just actually have to take a moment to process all of that stupidity. Transgender means that you identify as the gender that you were not born with. Queer, it's a blanket term for things that fall under the LGBTQIZABCWTFBBQ umbrella. Genderqueer, it's not cis, but not trans. This is sort of all those other weird gender identities that you probably don't get, but you kind of lump in with trans, like bi-gender, agender, gender fluid, gender free, third gender, shit like that. Okay, more questions. Gender identity, so it's just the thing you identify with. Again, no, it's that's a really shitty term because it alludes to there being some sort of choice in the matter. People who are trans, for lack of a better term, have a birth defect. And it sounds kind of rough to say, but it's true. We were born, when we were being born, we got the wrong dose of hormones and we ended up with a body different than what our brain expected. And there's a literal physical thing that you can measure in a trans person's brain. You can literally scan their brain and a trans woman really does have brain patterns of a woman. Couldn't I just decide that I wanted to be trans? Probably not. It would give you dysphoria. Even if you manage to get past the social aspect, the hormones would really fuck you up. There have been documented cases of people who were given hormone replacement therapy who were cis, and in most of those cases, they ended up killing themselves. I mean, hell, the guy who invented computers, Alan Turing, if you didn't know, was gay, and he was given hormones to cure his gayness, I think? I'm not 100% sure what they were trying to do, but he ended up ending his life because of it. So you, you don't fuck around with that stuff if you're not trans. So why are cis and straight not the same thing? Because straight tells me who you want to fuck, and cis tells me the how you're doing the fuck. <laughs> that means that you, if you look like a dude and you call yourself a dude and you think that you're a dude, you're cis. You can be gay 
But if you're a gay guy, you're cis. You can be cis bi, you can be cis pan. Just means that you were born with all the right bits. Bits? Does this just mean that you want a vagina? Yes, and no loaded question fallacy. You're assuming that being trans is just the one thing, but it's a lot of things. Mainly it's just fucked up brain chemistry, but it presents in different ways. Some people have horrible genital dysphoria. Some people have depression and social anxiety. Some people just have this intense desire to be a girl that they can't really define. Some people have a combination of all of that and more. Brains are just fucking weird. Why don't you just get the surgery slash why haven't you got a surgery slash some other question about surgery. There are so, so many reasons why people haven't gotten surgery. Maybe they just don't want to undergo fucking surgery. Or maybe they just don't have the $30,000 to spend on an expensive medical procedure. Or maybe they just don't specifically have genital dysphoria and so they don't really care enough to undergo a process to solve a problem that doesn't really exist. Something something bathroom rape, yeah, we're not the president. You have nothing to fear from us. We just want to piss and shit like the rest of you fucking animals. And now on to more specific me questions. What does this mean for your channel? Nothing, really. I'm gonna continue making videos like I always have. At some point, the deep, deep vanish will vanish from the channel, but that's probably the only change. Are you gonna do videos about makeup and shit? I mean, <laughs> if you want me to, but my demographic is 98% men, so probably not. Uh, when are you going to look like a girl? Well, if all goes well, I'll have a pair of tits by the end of the year, but Beyond that, I couldn't tell you. Taking hormones is basically like going through puberty. So it might be really fast, it might be super slow. It's entirely dependent on how my body reacts to things. But the tits always come in first and I start home hormones in May, so that's why I can probably guarantee some knockers. Why don't you sound like a girl yet? Because that shit is really hard. <laughs> what do we call you? Same thing you always have, jump splat 120 jump splat or jump work just as well. I do request that you guys use she and her when you're talking shit about me in the comments though. Uh, how long have you known? Since I was like 12-ish, but I didn't really come to terms with it until recently. Because honestly, like I've mentioned before, I didn't want to be trans. I wanted to just be a normal dude. Trans people are getting fucking murdered. Like, who would choose that? But ultimately, after some drunk sex with a Tinder date, I like really had to come to terms with myself or I was gonna lose my mind. Uh, is there anything we should slash shouldn't do? Uh, she and her, don't be trolly, but other than that, I don't care. It's just, it's just a part of my life. It's not something that's going to define me the same way acting doesn't define me, video games don't define me, my job, or who I date. It's just everything put together, all the tiny bits of my life that make me me. So I'll make vlogs about it occasionally, and it's not going to be every video, and I'm not going to be bringing it up all the time. But, you know, if you have any questions at all, I'll answer them. Seriously. If, even if you think it's hella stupid, I'll still answer it. I'll probably make fun of you if it's really stupid, but I'll still answer it. Um, Alright, so I think that's everything. So I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope too many of you don't unsub, comment, like, subscribe, and I will. See you later, YouTube.